هون The Canadian Bacon and Egg White Biscuit It is a cheese sauce filling with cooked egg whites and Canadian style bacon in the biscuit Yes And you might leave it for a minute and a half so I'm going to do that very small. Mmm. That's the inside. Mmm. It's pretty good. Um, the stuff inside is really good, like the cheese and the bacon -y and um, but definitely you get that. It's very good. And the flakiness of the outside is really good. It's just, um, I don't know, I guess I expected it to have maybe just a slight, like a little more of a kick or something or more flavor to it. It's not as flavorful as I would like, but it's very good. Um, this is probably the only savory frozen item for Nutrisystem that I like. So that's good. I like this like a 4.5 because uh, we're going to have meatloaf and mashed potatoes. This is a dry goat item for dinner. It says cooked meatloaf with creamy mashed potatoes and a rich brown gravy. So I hope I like it because I don't have any dry goat dinner items that I really like much. So it would be nice to have a good variety. That's my husband. That's my husband. He's never on camera. That's him. I swear I'm married. Okay, so see? Just another one of those weird white ones. Uh, I assume the microwave for a minute and a half only. So we'll see. The it looks like I just had to show you. It's like a steak thing like that on top of mash. So when they when the picture looks like it's just a little bit of gravy, no no. It's a lot of gravy. This thing is hold on, go see daddy for a minute in gravy. Okay, so this weird floating meatloaf piece. I'll take a bite of that okay, first, okay. I guess. Honey, please go see daddy. Please. Okay. Mm -hmm. The meatloaf part, you like, you don't even have to chew it. It's so soft. It's so soft. It really looks good. Um, that's pretty good. Um, the, uh, the steak part. What is the meat part called again? Meatloaf, meatloaf and mash, right? Because meatloaf, it's not as loafy, it's not as soft as I was thinking. Like, it, it's more, it's a little harder. It's more like like their version of steak. But their steak kind of tastes like meatloaf, so it's convenient. Anyway, because it's covered in gravy, that's my piece of mash. It's all brown. <laughs> if you like gravy, you're going to love this. I mean, the mash is okay, but there's way too much gravy on this. It's overpowering. Like, the gravy's everywhere. And I don't know if they're trying to, like... I've noticed that there's sauces, like lasagna and spaghetti, and, you know, when you have the red sauce, the spaghetti sauce, it tastes great. But anything with gravy like this, they're not good at gravy. And, and, they, and they pour way too much on. So I'm going to say I'm disappointed and probably a 2.5 stars. A chocolate brownie sundae. It is low fat chocolate ice cream with fudge sauce and brownies. It had a peel back purple thing, so I just peeled it off. That's all you missed. But ah, okay, so see, I can like turn it upside down, it doesn't fall out. Those are like little brownie pieces with some chocolate stuff going on. It's really little, small little thing. This looks super chocolatey. Usually I like vanilla with some chocolate, but this is chocolate with chocolate with chocolate. Okay, so it's fudge, it's like brownie pieces with fudge and then ice cream. And you can see it layered. I'll hold it up. So there's a brownie piece and then the fudge and then the uh, brownie part, like the ice cream is down here. So it comes in a layer like that. Hmm. Wow. That's like super rich. Mm. That's like almost dark chocolate. I think I'm going to give this to my husband because he'd probably like it more than me. Um, 
I think this would be much better if it was vanilla ice cream because you get the chocolate with the vanilla. It wouldn't be too overpowering chocolate. Um, but for what it is, I'd probably say like a three ish probably it's it's really 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 super chocolatey so if you're into like the into the, like the so chocolatey it could be dark chocolate then you'll probably like it I uh, just woke up as you can see mm -hmm. and um, I weighed myself today at the end of week 11 now I am 194.4 which means after 11 weeks I've lost uh, 21.4 pounds now um, makes me super horny and sick. Like, so just that red, it's crazy. Anyway, this week, which is a lot for a week, you know, to lose. So that's great. Um, I have been, things I've been doing differently this week. Are, uh, I've been taking cheese out of the equation completely. And apparently that's really helping. Because I used to have, um cheese sticks and they were like low fat cheese sticks and stuff and I used to have shredded cheese on my salads um but I just took cheese out of the equation completely and I didn't even do it on purpose it was just like I didn't have um like I either didn't think about it or my protein was already taken over by yogurt and because I still have my yogurt in the daytime and what I've been doing now since I pretty much eat nothing but pizza is I've been putting these turkey pepperonis on it and um you're allowed like 17, but I use like anywhere between 6 and 8. I use like half of what you can use because I just cover the pizza and then I'm good. Like I don't need to cover it again. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's been my protein at night. And then I have my protein, which is my yogurt. And some of these days, actually, I've been skipping my carb. Um... And I did change my carb. I was doing bread for a bit, and then I was doing bananas for a bit. Um, <clears throat> and then intermixing them when the bananas were gone, I would just finish them with the bread. But I haven't been doing any bread or bananas. <clears throat> what I've been doing for my carb now is those um, <clears throat> Orville Redenbacher 100 calorie um, packs of popcorn. They're like I got the kettle, the kettle corn kind. That sounds like alliteration. Kettle corn kind. And I don't even eat, like, when I do eat that, I don't even eat the whole thing because my two-year-old has to partake, of course. And I let her because the rest of the day I'm saying, you can't eat my Nutrisystem food. So, one little bag is 100 calories. It ends up popping up to, like, about, you know, like, a good a good size amount. So, I don't mind sharing with her. Um, but that's only 100 calories. I don't know if it's considered a good carb. It's not on that list. But it has the right amount of calories and it has the right amount of fiber. So I think I may have found one they can add to their list. Um, but when I do have a carb, that's all I have is that one. Uh, otherwise, I've just kind of been skipping my carb. Like, I haven't... I used to eat it when you're supposed to on the schedule. Like, between lunch and dinner is when you're supposed to have your carb and your other protein or whatever. I haven't been having the protein then. Or I have, uh, I, guess, I guess occasionally I'll still have a stick of cheese, but it's very rare. Um, so that's when you're supposed to have your carbs. So that's when I'm supposed to have my popcorn and then have dinner and then have a dessert. But what I've been doing is having my dinner at that time and then telling myself, okay, I'll wait on the popcorn until I think I need it. And then if I need it, I'll eat it. Um, I'll have all the things except for the carb. Um, you know, including the dessert and everything. I'll usually have everything. And like last night, I had my carb and my dessert. I had everything on the list. I'm supposed to have my proteins. Um, I'm just gonna say proteins. I don't like power fuel. It makes me sound like a Power Ranger. <laughs> Anyways, and my proteins. I had my carb, popcorn. I shared a little bit with Serena, of course. Um, Effectively, I've given her like a third of it this time. I just kind of gave her what was left in the bowl when I was done. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I had everything last night. All the things I could have had. And I went down. Yesterday, I was 194.8, which means I lost 21 pounds exactly. And um, then I went down another 0.4 from yesterday with eating everything I should be eating. 
I haven't been working out this week because my ankle is uh, injured. I injured it when my aunt was here. Um, not that she kicked my ankle and said, so there! But uh, I was walking on kind of like uneven sidewalk and rolled my ankle to the outside. And it's my bad ankle. So, because I used to be a ballroom dance instructor, was my old job. And that was the ankle that I, if I did roll an ankle while, you know, while practicing or whatever, it would always be that one. So it was that one again. Um, jogging and um, doing like skippy jump hop things. And everyone looks at me like, look at that girl with that stroller. Stroller's not stopping her from going crazy. <laughs> so, down 21.4 pounds now across the 20 line and I put it on Nutrisystem and they're going to send me my next shipment in a couple days so I'm going to get my hair soon. See? I keep losing right before I get my back so it's worked out perfectly for me so far. <laughs> of course it's only been two days. But anyways, my mini goal is to lose 30 pounds total uh, before I visit my family next time in July so I can have maybe a little bit better looking pictures from a month. Um, so that's my mini goal and then my next mini goal is to lose 40 pounds total before I see my grandma and grandpa and my aunt in September. So we'll see if I hit those or not. Anyway, thanks for watching.